winter is coming. Actually, it's quite the opposite. I just said that for dramatic effect, just to show you that I have seen Game of Thrones. What may be coming though, is a property crash. And if you're not prepared for it, it's time to gear up. And it's important you train yourself to handle your finances extremely well. First things first, who are you? No, no, don't go into an identity crisis. I'm asking, what type of investor are you? Are you someone who prefers low risk, long-term benefits, or do you want the cash now and ready to face the fluctuations of the housing market? Now, you probably might be wondering why you can't have it both ways. That's because if you don't decide who you are, you end up taking more L's than W's. And we could all use some more W's in our lives, couldn't we? Profit in this economy? Now, to be frank, most people don't even know what the state of the current economy is. But they do love saying, in this economy, as if it's a given that the economy is always bad everywhere. I will summarise briefly the inflation situation for you. We are going to be looking at some high interest rates throughout most of 2023, but then eventually they will decline by the end of the year or the start of next year. So, in the short term, there will be problems, but we are going to be out of the tunnel sooner than you think. If you haven't made up your mind regarding how you would prefer to invest, then let me simplify it for you by showing you the difference between the two. First thing, buy to let and earning a mostly passive income. Once you get into the property business, you can't get out of it because you are now officially a property owner. When you decide to purchase any sort of property to let out to tenants, make sure you do the maths of how much return you will receive weekly, monthly, quarterly, annually. That way you know exactly how many months or years it will take you to fully gain back your investment. Now let's suppose you invest in a one bedroom flat and it's 80,000 uh, pounds to buy it and your net ROI is 7.5% which is 6,000 pounds annually so it's 500 pounds per month uh, after expenses uh, and it's going to take you just, just over 13 uh, years and a few months uh, to pay that investment off and then obviously after that all the money is your pure profit because you've got your main uh, investment back uh, and it's going to be obviously uh, a lifetime investment for most. Uh, you can now pronounce yourself uh, you can now pronounce yourself as a human and property. But if you want to gain your money back quicker uh, than obviously 13 years and a few months then it might be better for you to start aggressively uh, flipping houses. What exactly is a house flipper, you may be asking? Well, the number one goal is to buy a property at a low rate and then sell it at a higher value. So basically, a flipper is somebody who buys property, refurbs it and then sells it for more. So not only do you have to remain on the lookout for some really good deals, but you must be obviously aware of the ever-changing market. It can be a high risk, high rewards strategy and it's not for everybody, so it's not everybody's cup of tea. There are fundamentally, in my view, two types of flippers. The first one uh, are kind of basic investors and they simply buy a property below market value and then sell it uh, to make a small gain. And then there are those who add value, significantly add value, uh, and then sell the property. By adding value, you can make a considerable amount of profit from a house or a property uh, that you wouldn't have done otherwise. Now, it's important that you note that uh, looks matter in the property business as well. That's the lesson you can take away from this video. So the two big questions you need to ask yourself are, what's the level of risk you are willing to take and how soon do you want to make your money back? If your answer is, I can't take the risk, or I'm not willing to take the risk, but I would like to make my money back quickly, then let me tell you, this isn't some sort of get rich quick scheme. This is called being smart about your investments. Now, once you figure out who you are, you can then work towards uh, creating your goals uh, and making sure uh, that you obviously achieve those goals. Sounds like a dream come true, doesn't it? Well then, why are you still here? Go out there and turn your dreams into reality, as cliche as that might sound. When you're clear on who you are, then you've got more likelihood of turning things in your favour. That's a life lesson for you right there. Now there's one more way you can make money during a market crash, and that's purchasing property investment stock. Acquiring shares in rental estate investment firms that have a track record of paying dividends to their stockholders on a regular basis can be an ideal way, in my opinion, 
uh, to have a backup plan for rainy days. The value of your stock can rise over time and you can reinvest dividend payments into purchasing further shares. Now that's all the advice I have for you today. I hope you find it useful during these trying and testing times and come out on top. Now until next time where I give you a playback play of why Jon Snow did in fact know more than he let on.